Hey, good day everybody out there. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, a little bit since I made a vid, so I wanted to put something together, a little bit of history today. Uh, so I live uh, in southwest PA. I'm about an hour or so east of Pittsburgh. And uh, I also live uh, close to a little town called Ligonier. I'm only about a half hour drive from there. And there's a fort there called uh, Fort Ligonier. And uh, that fort was used during the campaign to overtake Fort Duquesne during the French and Indian War. Now there's a road that ran cross state from Philadelphia through Ligonier all the way to Fort Duquesne. And uh, that was called Forbes Road and named after uh, uh, General John Forbes of the British Army. Now Fort Duquesne was an important fort for, the, for uh, France. And that was at the confluence of the Monongahela, the Allegheny, and the Ohio. Uh, now, uh, Ligonier back then was called uh, Loyal Hannah. And would be later called Ligonier after Sir John Ligonier, who was originally from France, but uh, became a field marshal for the British Army. Now, John Forbes and uh, George Washington, who fought in the... Uh, in the French and Indian War actually stayed there briefly at that fort in Ligonier. Now, uh, in that campaign to overtake Fort Duquesne, uh, the British had built up a good-sized army, and France knew that. They ended up abandoning the fort. I burned it, burned pretty much burned the whole fort to the ground. And when Great Britain got there, they would actually end up uh, rebuilding it and calling it Fort Pitt after Sir William Pitt. Um, who was the British Prime Minister at the time, and was friends with John Forbes. Uh, now later, if you guys know, uh, Fort Pitt would later be named Pittsburgh in 1763. So that's the history of Pittsburgh there. And uh, George Washington was actually part of that. Now, getting back to my drawing. So there's a museum in Ligonier. At the fort, uh, it's called, you know, it's, it's the History Museum, and they have a number of paintings there. And one in particular, which I've got to see a few times, uh, done by Rembrandt Peel of a young George Washington. That was done approximately 1820. Now, his uh, father, Charles Wilson Peel, did a similar painting some 50 years earlier. So uh, the Rembrandt Pill paintings, it's just an absolutely beautiful painting, and this is my little tribute to that. Of course, you know, I've said many times George Washington is my favorite person in all of history. So uh, thanks for hanging out today. appreciate you guys as always. Uh, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Peace.